Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Chrome Soft Golf Ball from Callaway. Round one from East Lake at the Tour Championship. It is the season finale with the $18 million bonus up for grabs. And Scotty Scheffler, who by virtue of his regular season performance, came in with that two-shot advantage, has bumped it now to five with a terrific round of 565. He has a five-shot cushion over Xander Shoffley, who has always been so good at East Lake. Patrick Cantlay, two back to begin, really falls off the pace. He's now seven behind. Scotty Scheffler now with Todd Lewis. You know, five under par opening round for Scotty. It's going to feel like those last three holes were incredibly important, not only for putting up that great score you did, but also maybe carrying some momentum into tomorrow. What did those last three holes do for you? Yeah, definitely did a lot. I felt like I played really good all day, and I was only 200. And so to get those last three birdies at the end was definitely some icing on the cake. I, I played pretty solid today, and uh, it's definitely always a good way to finish off the round. Uh, it is. We talked about this yesterday, how interesting, especially the position that you're in, this championship is. Did you at all think about score today uh, overall? Uh, not really. I, I didn't really look at the leaderboards. I didn't really pretty much changed anything. I kind of stayed in my own little world today and just kind of went out there and tried to do my best. And fortunately today, I played some really solid golf. All right, you started that with a two-shot advantage. Now it's a five-shot advantage. Does that give you a little more comfort heading into tomorrow or no? No, I think uh, for me, just approaching this as a four-day event and not really looking at the strokes, not really looking at who's in the lead. I, um, I'm just kind of going out there and plotting along is going to be the best for me. I don't think looking at the lead is, is going to help. And it's kind of funny. Yeah, five-shot lead, but it's only round one, you know. Uh, Still a lot of golf left to play. That sounds great. Is that difficult to manage, though, to have treating this like a normal event? I, I think at times, but for the most part, I think just keep my head down and going out there and playing. When I'm on the golf course, it's it's pretty easy just to kind of put my head down and just go play golf. You did that well today. We wish you the best tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Head down because the guy chasing him is really good at East Lake. That's Xander Shoffley, 66 today. Uh, Shoffley in now 21 rounds to tour championship, going back to his debut in 27. He's never shot over par, and his average in those 21 rounds is three under 67. Here's Shoffley with Todd. Yet another impressive round for Xander Shoffley here at, at East Lake. Let's talk about this round specifically. Where did you excel on this golf course today? It was all about hitting fairways. Um, with everything being a little bit more wet, uh, the rough was maybe less predictable just because it was wet and, and kind of you getting like kind of semi jumpers. Um, so if you had the ball in the fairway um, and you could clean it and in, and in hand, you could take advantage of the course. I mentioned yet another good round here. Your record's impressive. A win in 2017, seventh, second, second, fifth. One of those second places you had the low 72 hole score here. What is the connectivity to this golf course for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, I can't really tell you. I just enjoy playing out here. I think it's a very fair golf course, and you, you really can't fake it around the property. So it's a it's a stressful place to play if you're not really you know on top of your game and. That's very rewarding uh, if, if, if you're able to control your golf ball. Considering how much you do like this golf course, does that give you a little more comfort as you try to win and chase the leader? Yeah, it's just day one. You know, I'm just trying to piece together some rounds here, put, give myself a chance on Sunday. So uh, you're, you're way ahead of me. Do you consciously or subconsciously approach this differently than you would a four hole, a regular four round tournament? Yeah, you really, um, you really have to try hard to stay present. Uh, there's a big carrot hanging at the end of the week here. Um, it's just another golf tournament, and you know the positioning is very strange for us, considering that we only do this once a year. So, I'd say it's it's an easy tournament to get ahead of yourself. And so, my biggest goal this week was to just stay present. Now, Rory McIlroy, this one is a real head shaker. Just incredible. He started with a triple at the first, bogey number two. He's four over after two. He makes eagle at the six, three additional birdies on that front side, so four over after two, and he still shoots a respectable one over 36 going out. And then coming in, four under 31. Eight birdies in all, 67 with a triple. Rory McIlroy on his memorable day. Is it possible to describe how crazy a round of golf this was today for you, Rory? Uh, not really. Um... Yeah, I got, I, I got off to the worst start possible. Uh, you know, we got a little unfortunate that we teed off in that big downpour earlier in the day. Uh, I tried to guide like a 
sort of like this little peeler into the into the fairway at the first and complete double cross body stopped will be left uh, so yeah not the best way to start but battled back well the golf course is really soft and, and really gettable so I knew you know there was a lot of holes out there that you could birdie um, and, and I knew my game was good you know it was just one of those things but not not the ideal way to start but uh, proud of how I, I bounced back from that and um, you know, I, I would have been happy just to get back to even par after the first few holes but to, to shoot three under was was great. How were you able to settle things and regroup walking off of the second green at four over par after triple and then bogey at that par three? Yeah I think um, you know I, I thought I had the third hole and the sixth hole coming up that um, are two really good chances. So I thought, okay, if I can just you know get a couple back here, maybe get it back to you know two or one over after nine, then shoot something even under par. And it was just sort of trying to methodically pick off the chances. Um, and I picked off a few a few more than that, even though I, I mixed in a, a couple of bogeys in there as well. But um, yeah, I just tried to keep hitting good golf shots and good putts, and, and I actually I putted much better today than I did last week in Wilmington, and, and that was nice to see. If there's anyone who knows how to win right here on this course, it is most definitely you. How much does that help you in terms of mindset and drive, given that we're only through one round? Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, I mean, it's. I mean, the last few holes there were huge. Just to try to, I felt like I played myself out of the tournament the first few holes and then feel like I played myself back into the tournament the last few holes but it you know I think this this tournament is like it's all it's it depends what Scotty does right I mean I can go out and shoot a really good score tomorrow but if Scotty is seven or eight or whatever he is ahead of me then um, it makes me it makes things really really difficult but if I go out and shoot a good score tomorrow and Scotty has a, a, a lackluster day then you know he brings a lot of guys in it and you know over 36 holes, anything can happen. But um, I think tomorrow is a pretty pivotal day for, for the rest of the field just to try to get a little closer to, to where Scotty is. Rory, is it different at all with Cam or is it business as usual? Business as usual. Cam and I get on really well. Um, always have done. Again, like I keep saying, I'm no matter what decisions are made or what choices are made by anyone, I'm, you know, it doesn't make them a bad person. Does it? make me disagree with them of course it does but I mean I disagree with a lot of people that I like and love so um, yeah it's it's business as usual um, if anything he's a really good guy to play with because he plays pretty quick and he has a nice rhythm and so it's it's a nice pairing all right rounds of the day yeah, Matthew Fitzpatrick US Open champ Joaquin Neiman who won at the Riviera uh, they both shoot 664. Neiman began eight back and shoots 600 and picks up only a shot on Scheffler. Fitzpatrick, uh, seven back, he shoots at 64. He picks up only a shot. Uh, Wise and Poston, they might be playing for uh, possibly a spot on Davis Love's President's Cup team. They're certainly auditioning this week. Uh, again, uh, Cantley probably the big loser today. It's a harsh word. Uh, shoots 70, started two behind. He's now seven shots back on a golf course that was relatively soft and gettable because of those early rains. Uh, played to an average of a shade under 68. Look forward to day two from the Tour Championship.